name is Dr. Busira Stella Warimu. I'm a medical doctor by profession. I also happen to hold postgraduate studies in global health policy and an MBA in healthcare management. This week, we've had an opportunity to be able to indulge with a lot of parliamentarians. And what we realize is that how we can be able to translate our ideas into practical uh, solutions from a policy perspective. It has been an amazing journey because I come out of here two weeks later a better person in terms of my, uh, my soft skills, in terms of relating to others, a better person in terms of my thinking process, how I design solutions towards problems, and having put up networks. 20 years of my life, I spent in the largest slum in Africa. And as a young child, I had this zeal in me to be able to transform not just my life, but looking at the children we grew up together. And how is it that I can actually look at the society and be somebody who can be looked upon and somebody who can change the world. Standing and being a reflection in the mirror for the society, for the young girls and young boys, and telling them it doesn't matter where you are, you can actually achieve your dreams and become somebody who can influence. So, my greatest success is being a mentor, a mentor who's walked through all this path and standing and using my story to change lives. At 28, I took up the leadership as the Chief Executive Officer of the Kenya Medical Association. This is a membership body for all the doctors in the country. My policy discussion was a very controversial discussion. So when I was given that opportunity, it was about access to health, universal health coverage for the LGBTI persons in Kenya. I looked at the people who were sitting in the room and I realized Indeed, it was time for equality and social justice, for not just the LGBTI, but generally for all Kenyans. It gave me hope. Future Leaders Connect gave me hope. The value of meeting people from the different parts of this world is that it actually gives me and them an opportunity to be able to form this web where we will discuss different issues that affect our different communities and take in some of those lessons back in our country. I think it's how connected we are in our successes globally and above everything, how it's really one world. Just by putting on my Twitter page that I'm going to speak on the Elders' Night, it has already gotten me people asking me to come in and sit in and panels and of course in terms of media appearances that will increase. And I think it also gives me a um, more global opportunity to be able to discuss things beyond the borders of Kenya. My main highlight of the whole program has been meeting Grasa Marshall from the Elders Night. Having young leaders like us being able to impact in us knowledge and experience that we can be able to change this world. The power of this program was the fact that I could learn experiences from the Future Leaders Connect. Experiences that can allow me to translate some of the solutions which are not only Kenyan based but can actually be replicated in the different parts of the world because we sat in as 50 of us sharing the same platform. Looking back at the last 10 days, one of the things that came into being, it's possible to have solutions to the multiple problems we have. So goodbye.